Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Ultrascan diagnostics here. This is the CVCT of the patient that you had requested. The area of interest is the upper right impacted canine. Um, the on the 3D rendering, you can see that the lateral incisor is coming in um, quite horizontally. The upper right canine is placed uh, um, in the maxillary bone, um, and the deciduous canine is also present with a little bit of resorption that can be seen in the coronal section. On the panoramic view, you can very clearly see that the, the canine is placed with the roots close to the apex of the um, second premolar and the first molar. On the transaxial view, we'll take you through each and every section. So this is the central incisor, the upper right central incisor. As you can see, this is the crypt of the canine. The canine is placed in buccally to the lateral incisor. It's actually superficial and buccal. Um, it's not parallel, it is more closer to the buccal cortical plate. The buccal cortical plate has yet not been perforated. The lateral incisor roots does not show any signs of uh, resorption at the moment um, and the apex is completely closed. This is the canine as you can see. This is the crown of the canine as we are moving distally. This is the um, deciduous canine and as we are moving, this is the body of the canine and this is the first premolar and now this is the second premolar. Um, right next to the apex of the second premolar, you can very clearly see that this is where the canine uh, apex closes completely and the sinus starts. So it is the roots of the canine are placed parallelly to the premolars, whereas the body of the canine or the crown of the canine is placed um, more superficially and buckly. So this is how it looks on the transaxial view. Um, there doesn't seem to be any resorption of any of the permanent teeth uh, because of this. Um, canine. Now moving to the axial view which is the top to bottom view. This is the central incisor. This is the lateral incisor which is placed more horizontally. This is the incisor foramen. As we are moving apically, we will begin to see this is the canine, uh, the permanent canine. This is the roots. I will mark it slightly zoom in. There we go. And this is the deciduous canine. Um, this is the Permanent canine, my apologies, this is the center incisor. So as we move in more superficially, this is the lateral incisor which is placed uh, horizontally. So central incisor, lateral incisor, deciduous canine and as we move superficially, you will see that the permanent canine this is the deciduous canine, this is the central incisor. So this is how it looks. This is the root of the uh, lateral incisor, which is right next to the incisor foramen. So if you have any further questions regarding this case, please feel free to reach to our team. Thank you very much.